Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Cape Rugby TV. It's uh, live on Wednesday nights here on Cape Town TV, your favourite rugby show that we know now for a fact. With me tonight, Herman Abrams, the Deputy CEO of Western Province Rugby. Hello, Mr. H. Good evening, JP. You're looking very healthy, fit and loving life? Yeah, no. Well, I'm happy, you know. Rugby is going full swing. There's a lot of rugby on at the moment. Eh? Yeah, a lot of rugby. A lot of rugby. Jerome? Hi, yeah? JP. How are you? Like Danga. Very good, thank you. Rugby okay? Rugby is very good, yeah. Yeah. A good wedstrijd in the week, so it's, yeah. Yeah. Jerome, I mean, uh, Mork, you went to the World Cup last night. Were you cold enough? It was pretty cold out there. All right, Jack. let's leave yeah. it at that then. <laughs> 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 That's enough about that. That's enough of that, yeah. I uh, didn't see a lot of club rugby people at, uh, at that game. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, that was, I suppose, just the, the TV version. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think there, there, was, there, there was space for about another 60,000 people there, though. Yeah, look, there definitely was. I think we can take one or two of our club rugby games there. I think we'll, we'll pack the stadium out. <laughs> yeah. We really shouldn't invite us over there, I think. Sometime. Yes, I know, especially if Whistling Wheels is playing against... Um, uh, who are they playing this Cal week? Caledonia. No, no, Whistling Wheels is playing against Young, uh, young, 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 ide young Ideas. Young, young ideas. ideas, that's right. All right, folks, that's where we are this weekend. I'm going to talk to you more about that during the coming of the show. Whistling Wheels up against Young Ideas is going to be cracker match, and we want you to get out there. Whistling Wheels, right, this is your opportunity. If you were a sponsor and you were sponsoring a club, and in this case, if you were sponsoring Whistling Wheels or Young Ideas, well then, this time around, you as a sponsor would have got a lot of coverage. All right, a lot of exposure, a lot of sponsorship money going in the right direction. That's what you have to make sure you get. Is uh, get uh, If you're a corporate out there, get behind the clubs. Sponsor the, the clubs. Eh? Uh, so much TV at the moment um, around club rugby. Stage? No, whistling wheels mustn't let the wheels come off on Saturday. <laughs> that was the opportunity to really let the wheels roll. Well, they've been begging us to come out there. I know Percy Young from, um, uh, from ETV has been pushing me to get out there, so that's, it's going to be quite uh -huh. exciting. <laughs> Let's take a look now at the uh, first set of results. Um, Super League A, it was some interesting games over there. SK Warmer is beating Villagers. 41 points at 10. Belhar, 31 60 loss for them against Durbel. Tigerberg losing to Hamilton's. Oh, 38 points to 5. The question is, what on earth is going on there? Um, once again, Mr. H, we're seeing this massive uh, gap uh, uh, for, between SK Warmers and Villagers. I mean, uh, Villagers went out to play at Belhar the other day. Things didn't go all their way there. They, now, again, I mean, SK Warmers a massive win for them. Uh, where, 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 we, where, is the, where are things going wrong here? SK Warmers just getting stronger. I think, yeah, you know, SK Warmers are making sure that they stay in the, in the Super League A. And uh, it's going to be tough still to the end of this. Uh, you know, we're just about reaching the end of the first round. Yeah. There's still a lot of rugby to be played till the end of the season. And uh, normally, as things you know, in other provinces die down, you suddenly see an upsurge in Western province, certain clubs. I don't know where the players come from then, but then suddenly there's an upsurge. There's a lift. Yeah, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of rugby to be played still. We've, of course, a couple, got a couple of interesting things to talk about uh, tonight. Um, we're going to ask you specifically. We'll put the union back on the spot um, to make sure that uh, there's... Uh, transparency and awareness uh, about what the union does for clubs so that we make sure that uh, that old argument of the union does nothing for the clubs, so you've got a fair opportunity. But of course, a couple of interesting announcements made at the uh, council meeting on, on, on Monday night, and we're going to ask you about that. So stay tuned, folks, uh, and we'll see what developed there. I know that uh, many of you would want to know, uh, as club rugby players or enthusiasts, what is happening at the council meetings. Um, and whether your council representatives are coming back to your clubs and actually filling you in and telling you. Well, remember, you are the clubs who own the union. So we'll see if we can give you a little bit of feedback uh, based on uh, what Mr. H has to say to us tonight. Right. Of course, uh, let's take a look now at Super League B. Super League, oh, before we go to Super League B, let's just take a look at the, the other result there. Durbel beating Belhar, 60 points to 31. Um, Jerome, is this, why is this? Is this just a question of Dur Durbel's being much more solid and, and Belhar um, haven't quite got up to what Super League is about? Yeah, I don't know what's happening with Belhar now. Last year they were, they were much better than now. And um, 
Derbyl, um, they've got a sort of good forwards, good backs. So they're well, well-rounded well side, and they're playing good rugby at the moment. And they, one thing that they really back themselves is, is on defence. They, they hardly give, give points away, and they're great on the attack. So they, there's a balance between the defence and the attack on, the, and on their side. But there's definitely something wrong with Bela. It's, uh, it's not the Bela that we used to see playing rugby like that. You don't think it's a sort of a life cycle thing where there's times when you're good and times when you're bad, you're just on form, you're not on form? Yeah, look, they, um, Bella had a couple of older guys which, which retired, so I think they in the building phase now. Yeah. You know, they had, um, I think the whole pack were, if you put the pack of last, last year or what? Uh, Irvin, of, almost, Irvin, Irvin October is, of course. Yeah, uh, the pack, the age of the pack were almost 800. Years? Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes. Normally, normally you'd give the the age of the pack would be in the, the, the weight of the pack. the weight of the pack. Yeah, you see, eight hundred ninety-seven. I saw la- last night. Yeah, the, the uh, <laughs> but, but they scored four tries against uh, Dublin. Which, of course, gives you an indication as to the kind of rugby that yeah. was playing. I mean, Morgan, you, you would say that the defensive stru- structures on both sides not so good then. Yeah, look, James, I mean, I actually had a, I actually had a word with Irvin um, in the week, and he's been saying that actually, I think, um, sort of, not, not too upset with the result, you know, to, to go to, to, to Durbal, I mean, well, to play, to get um, four tries against Durbal is never an easy feat. I mean, I played there, and we also, you know, struggled to, to put some points in there. They're, they're a good defensive side, so, I mean, you know, to score four tries against them is, is I think they, in the end, have sort of focused more on getting away, walking away with a point as opposed to, you know, for the four tries, as opposed yeah. to walking away with nothing, so... Yeah, yeah they of course, uh, the other result there, Tigerberg um, losing to Hamilton. So, um, it looks like it's time to slip away for Tigerberg. It's a, it's a very tough one at the moment. They're going to have to make that comeback t- turn around now. We're, are we on, we're on the halfway mark now. Yeah. Um, they can still come back. Yes. I mean, if they, if they win, you know, if you win all your games, that's your remaining games. Yeah. Then you'll get away from the bottom of the thing. Mm, but mm. Um, they are at the bottom at the moment and they, I'm sure, you know, they, they, they will come back. I'm, I'm convinced that they will come back. So it's got to find the, that... The, the thing, of course, is that two of the clubs are going down. Right. At the end of the season. Nerve-wracking. And that's tough. So yeah. at which point in the season do the clubs start to scramble? <laughs> when do they go like, oh, you know, he come will I think and some can see it now already. <laughs> oh, some, well, I was looking at the logs, and I think one of you can pass me if you've got an extra set of logs there. I was looking at the logs in the... In the um, in, in the Paul region, for example, um, if I look, and I mean, we'll get to the Paul region in a minute, folks, but I look here in the Paul region, and Paul Rangers have won zero games. They've played, oh, in actual fact, they've played zero games. No wonder they've got no points. <laughs> it looks like the Paul, but if we just look at the logs here, man, Super League game, uh, Tigerberg is right down at the bottom. They've only got three points. Villagers is also right down at the bottom. They've only got eight points. And then Belha on 12 points. Those are the three teams that I at a glance. If I was one of those three teams, I'd be sitting in shaking in my boots right now going, boys, better get ready for Super League B. Is that right? But similarly, False Bay. False Bay? Yeah, they got 14 points. You know, any of those others win a game. Yeah. And they lose. And those guys go past them. So really is getting to that stage. I mean, the format, this format maybe makes the rugby a little bit more interesting because <laughs> it's almost like that Super 15 format where you can't predict the game until the last two yes. or three games. You don't... I mean, we've always heard the story of who's going to win the Super 15. By week three, the newspapers are writing about the chances. Mm. But then by the time we get to the, th- the third last week, they're saying, if this one beats that one by so much, and the other one beats the other one by so much, and the other one loses to the other one by so much, and then marries his auntie's cousin's uncle, well, then they <laughs> maybe can get into the semifinals for home. Um, so it certainly looks like this scenario of two up and two down is, is making rugby very interesting. Was that part of the decision, the strategic thinking behind it? Or was it just to no. give more clubs an opportunity? Yeah, I think you know, the bottom clubs, when they made that decision, the, the top clubs weren't happy with it. Yes. The bottom clubs, it, it takes Correct. too long for them to get up there. You know, well, you know what it says, that it, it uh, takes too long, two up, two down, and it takes two to tango. Yeah. So we'll have the tango is back now. We'll have two clubs back up in Super League A. Um, let's take a look now at the results in Super League B. Um, Super League B, of course, uh, Belleville, NNK. That's where we were this weekend. We'll get to that in a minute. 
Brackenfell losing to Helderberg. Penel Villages beating Goodwood. Hanson Hearts 34-29 over Primrose. And Kales River, it was 39-19, went for them over Collegians. Um, uh, Jerome, Collegians won't be happy with that result. No, definitely. Definitely not. Um, I mean, they also set high standards. And um, it's, it's not um, the Collegians that we know, definitely. And they, they <coughs> have two losses in a row now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're on 13 points. The stage, like you said, False Bay, possibly Collegians is, is, is a team that's fourth at bottom on Super League B. They're in a dangerous position. Yeah. And this is the team that really talks a lot. And, and you know what happens is, if you look at the results, every mm. week, somebody else that you didn't expect to win, wins a game. And that makes it a different scenario. Yes. You know? Hands and hearts beat Primrose. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought Primrose would... Yeah, Peter. yeah, Primrose is a good side this year. Mm. And uh, yeah, but so um, got, got to have a lot of little bit of work to do there. The other thing that I that I absolutely love, and we uh, uh, went out this weekend, folks, and we're going to show you that that a uh, uh, couple of clips from from this match over in a, in a minute or so. But um, uh, wouldn't it be nice, Jerome, to see Belleville, who's currently top of the log in Super League B, pushed up to Super League A? Yeah, I think I think JP they've been pushing now for the last three years. Um, like Mr. H, yeah. they're always up there. And I mean, last year, they were the only side that beat beaten NNK twice, Tigerberg twice. Yeah. I mean, Tigerberg went up um, last year, to, uh, or this year, they, they, they went up. So I think um, they really, they really done well so far. And I think it's really, it's the third year now for them, yeah. pushing, pushing, pushing. So I think they deserve a spot up there. And uh, um, also, it's... Um, once you're up there, if you look at all the locks now, the guys that went up, they're at the bottom. So it's difficult. Once you, went, once you go up there, you need, you need, the players need to do more. You have to stay yeah. through the, the season. To, yeah, you can't play you, half a season. You, you and more, I mean, in your experience, to win the league, you, you need to play the full, a, full league. Yeah, I mean, James, that's, that, that's what's um, so, so nice about Bubble is the fact that because they've been able to build for the last two or three years, mm. I think that if they move to Super League A now, I think they stand a lot better chance of staying there. Whereas if you get a team that sort of gets dropped and goes back up, the time for building, I mean, because in Super League A, the competition is so tough and the guys, the level of rugby is so good that there's no real time for building there. I mean, you, I mean, you can look at Tigerberg and Villages, they, the teams that are struggling at the moment. Another so, reason why you need to maintain your weight and you need to keep the players all the way through the season. You want to keep them motivated. I mean, sometimes we see players just give up halfway through the season because they think they're not, they're yeah. not going to win the league or, or do well, so they fade out and they go home. And I, and I blame that on coaches who don't motivate and inspire their players to play come win or lose. But of course, when, you're, when, when the chips are down, that's the time that you need your players to not be leaving the club because you can get back at the top, but you need your consistent players there. Does, does, JP, does, I've been to last week, last Tuesday, I went to Yalpa but at Belleville, and it was storming. And they had their under-20 side were there, their third team were there, second team, and first team, in that weather. So it means something's happening at the club now. And well, I'll tell you what's happening at the club, is mom and dad is saying, hey, trek aan jou sokkies, jy gaan oefen. Okay? Whereas the other moms and dads are saying, come inside and play the PlayStation. It was normally like that, JP, when I played at Belleville South. I'm talking and about in certain bit. segments of it. It <laughs> a bit, but they're getting back to it again. So it's yeah. the, one, the one problem that Dow will have, will have to face is the second team is lying third last on the log. Right. Which means that they don't have the same depth, depth as the others. And right. there's still 10 or so games. Yeah. They will have to watch and manage their team very carefully. Otherwise... The wheels will come off. Like whistling wheels. Uh, a tweet coming in there um, from uh, um, Zahid uh, saying that Primrose had a, 25, a 22 points to 5 lead mm. over the weekend, of course, against Hands and Arts, and they threw it away. That's a shocker. That's, of course, uh, uh, losing consistency. Well, anyway, we did go out to watch Belva play NNK, and what a fantastic match it was. Our cameraman, Andrew. Bennett was on the spot to catch all those tries. Let's take a look and see what was uh, happening down at the Belleville Rugby Ground over the weekend.
Yes! Yes, man! Yes! Kijk waar die bal waar uitkom nu. Thuis bij Ster! Thuis bij Ster! Yes, man! Goed gedaan. 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 I have never seen such animated club rugby try scorers. And I must say, Andrew Bennett was on fine form. He had the camera in the guy's faces. We must, he, wa we must warn him, eh? He can't run there while the, the cover defense is still trying to tackle. <laughs> He's in there with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. H, we have actually made massive strides with, with, with our crew because there was a time that they thought when the when the ball was dotted dead behind the dead ball line that that was a try. Okay? <laughs> um, we've now managed to explain that dotted dead in that you just have to follow with the try scores on the other side. <laughs> when the team's running this way, then that's a try. Okay? <laughs> now we're getting some great shots. Yeah, and, the, and the fantastic thing was just how, um, you know, accommodating the fans and the, the, the administrators of Belleville were. When I got there, everybody was ready for us. There was no hesitancy to... To, even though, you know, sometimes the referees don't really know who we are. Even the referees and the touch judges are happy for the cameras to get in there and get the shots. And so that was really great. And, I, and, and the, for me, the most amazing thing was walking around the side of the field and every single fan that was around there kept asking me if I'd seen Kuss. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and uh, Kuss, well, it was, was great to see him out there. Uh, Jerome, they've got a great club there, huh? No, JP. It's what I say. They, they really back to... Back to how I know Belleville, how it was in the past, and they really back to where it is. And there's some guys doing great work there. The chairman, Roger, uh, Roger Hendricks, yeah. he's putting a lot into the club, working hard. Um, there's an old guy there, um, Mr. Boyson. He's been there since I've played from six years old, and he's still there uh, <laughs> keeping stats. And, he's and, and like, that. I promise you, that's really. About, what, 15 years ago? Yeah, but he's, he's <laughs> in. And he's been... No, he, he, he's been with the club now for over 30 years. He's Mr. there Boyce. every every practice session. He's there yeah. every game. He doesn't miss a game. And I, I don't know. He's never sick or whatever. Do the, do the okay. But the important thing for me in, on that question is: Do the players look up to him? They definitely, definitely. Okay. That guy, uh, JP. I promise you. Before there was stats, or before people think of stats. He could give you the stats after the game and when, when I played club rugby there. And he's still doing that. Really? Things. Yeah, he's, he's passionate about that. Um, Vicky Peterson is there. Yeah. Um, my brothers are still involved there. So there's a really, it's, it's, I'm happy in that it's going well with them. And it's a really good vibe there at the club at the moment. Well, I'm happy I got out of there without getting into a boxing fight with Kurs. <laughs> because Kurs, it can, Kurs, it umpered also. You know, he didn't have a hot dog for me. He promised he would have a hot dog for me. <laughs> Let's take a look now. We caught up with the uh, losing captain and coach uh, from NNK. They were great sportsmen on the day. Um, let's see what the boys had to say. Philip Hopley and the boys. Uh, Philip, uh, tough game today. Yeah, a uh, bit bad luck, but uh, I think Bal Balbo came with guns blazing. So uh, credit to them. And uh, from here on, it's just heads up and hard work for us. But NNK have been doing Sterling. I mean, you guys have had a, a couple of good games behind you. And, of course, uh, last year was a good season as well. It, it, it really seems like you have got a bit of momentum behind the squad. Yeah, I think, I think the main difference was, I mean, we're a good squad. We're training hard. Um, we obviously got the power. I think uh, we had a bye last week. I think that, they, that may uh, derail us. Uh, but, yeah, we, we, we're positive. Next week is good with, and uh, we, we, we're here to take it on. Jong, ik zeg maar, jullie zijn lekker ambitieus, jullie zijn lekker zelfs genoeg spieren in huis, pan. Evox. Listen, best of luck for the rest of the season. Have a good one. Thank you, JP. 
Okay. In the uh, not quite the way you wanted it to go today. Yeah, we were really outplayed with the uh, Bialbo. They really played well. Uh, we prepared the whole week, but uh, yeah, our game plan didn't go as well. But uh, all, all great to them. They played well and uh, uh, all the best for them for the season. Is it moeilijk om weg te spelen van die ijsaf? It's always moeilijk hier. Ja. Ik uh, dus, dus verlieer die ook voor uh, verloren is. So, uh, ja, maar als we nu weer boven volgende jaar voor goed doen, dan volgende voor goed doen en dan swap volgende keer ons beter doen als die week. Ja, dat is goed. Uh, eerste jaar terug in hierdie liga, so, uh, dat gaan we een beetje tafjes willen. Het is een derby voor ons. Uh, ja. Bij van die mannen wat bij Peru gespeeld het, het bij goed doen gespeeld. Zo so, ons wordt maar uh, die mannen daar op volgende week. En uh, wopens gaan een goede wedstrijd spelen volgende week. Ja, fantastisch en uh, alles van die beste. Bye, dankie. NNK have had a pretty good season up to now. They got a little bit of work. Uh, Philip Popley and the boys uh, got uh, some uh, some work to do. They got a spirited bunch of guys. They certainly do like a, look like a very strong pack. Um, but uh, the wheels just came off a little bit there in that match against um, Belleville. Belleville, of course, dominating that match and some fantastic tries being scored through some good running rugby. We also managed to catch up with the uh, winning captain and coach of um, Belleville, lawyer, Mebru. <laughs> Let's check what he had to say. Henry, a good game for you today. Yeah, fantastic one. It's not a game that has full potential. It's not a game that has to be. The first round is a long path for us. But I think we're going to do it. We're going to play a long time in the Super League B. We're going to go out there. We're going to have sponsors that we have. We're going to have other players that we have sponsors. We're going to have to make it. We're going to have to go out there. We're going to have to go out there. Maar het lijkt me dat jullie het lekker geest zo en die, die, die mensen zijn allemaal achter jullie en dat is nog een jol en die ouders genieten alle rugby. Ach ja, het is wel wat we gaan als we alle spannen zijn, maar we hebben alle spectators zien. Ja. <laughs> dat is alles spannend. Ik kan lezen dat ik zeker dat ze het zo aangaan en uh, die ouders hopelijk zien die goede rugby op die TV dan zo hopelijk een sponsor weer voor Belvo binnenkort. Ik, ik hoop maar zo, ja. <laughs> alles van die beste voor die season. Dank je wel. Loya, captain of uh, Belvo, uh, lekker win voor jullie vandaag. Nee? Ja, het voelt bij je goed om voor in een kaart te winnen. En het was onze performance, onze televisies gemits. Het waren onze televisies om gemits te worden door de achter. En het lijkt me dat jullie ons aan kan een bolbeekje wijd spreiden. Ons moeten, dat, dat was een steekpunt leer. Maar ik moet die hoed afhalen voor Span. Het was een team, een team uh, effort. Ja, ja, dat lijkt me. Die allemaal staan achter jullie niet naar die team even niet, maar die gemeenschap is zo ook. Uh, lijkt me die supporters zoals altijd is zo in die honor. Dat lijkt hem lekker, lekker sports op zaterdag. Als een close net community, allemaal is hier voor Biabel om alle op elke zaterdag die Biabel steeds stil allemaal is hier zo maar ik weet dat kijk. Ja, maar luister alles bij het beste van die voor die, voor die rest van die seizoen. Ik weet dat gaan fantastisch gaan. Ja, maar ons moet het maar game voor game vat. Van die league is hier sprint is een marathon. Wat okay. bij je denk je? Die enige andere ding wat ons nog moet doen is voor die local council krijgen om iets over jullie paar luchten waar we ze achter ze recht te maken. Nee. Ja, het zou lijken om die uh, raadselen die te heet, om die weer te doen en misschien die stadium recht te maken. Stadium recht te maken ja, en die luchten recht te maken. Ja. Alright. Uh, uh, Captain of Belleville, what a good win for them today. Loya, Jerome, he's got some leadership skills, hè? Eh? Yeah, no, definitely JP, but he's also. Um, there for long um, at the club and um, you can see he's getting on in years now but he's still playing he's still doing his doing his duty serve the community and yeah playing some good still rugby, youngsters yeah. looking up to him yeah no that's f amazing fantastic and and the coach uh, henry Murray was so shy before didn't want to come on tv and uh you know i thought hang on this guy must come on tv there's no reason and he came on and he was fantastic and look what a great job he's doing with that team yeah, yeah. He was also. Um, I've played with with him. With Henry. Uh, with Henry, yeah. Good loose forward. Um, he's one of the typical one of the guys that that doesn't want to do the talking, but do the do the hard work and yeah. do the things behind the scenes and doesn't like to be seen and things. But he's doing he's doing great work with the team. Yeah, yeah. Uh, him and um, also I know Bola Conradi going to help there. Yeah. Uh, a lot, quite a lot there. So, uh, Mr. H, but it's important that we, we get the coaches and the managers and on, onto the TV, that people can see who's who's behind club rugby. Yeah, but it's fantastic for them also, you know, for yeah. their own image and for holding something. They will never be anywhere else on TV. Mm. So now the opportunity and, you know, I think when they go back on Monday to work, they've got a lot more confidence yeah. to face whatever is out there because they faced you. 
<laughs> that in itself is a, is a issue, you know. <laughs> that in itself, you mean that in itself is a problem? Yo, know, Arsenal Cap Rugby TV crew. Um, right, we managed to catch up with the man of the match. He had to face me, and I also spoke to Roger Hendricks, the president of uh, the Belva Rugby Football Club. Tata, of course, once again, Tata Westenberg and Paul, courtesy of Ivan Lind, now gave a club rugby player a thousand rand for excellent performance as the Tata man of the match. Let's see what the boys had to say. Oswin Mentor was our man of the match. Oswin, a lekker game for you vandaag. Nee, Tata, man of the match, a duizend aan in die zak, le. Ja, eindelijk was bij het tafel geweest en dat kon nog één toe gaan het van die span en elk ander het laan opgestiek en in eerste serie, je mag vaar, dankie voor die opportunie ik me vergeer is vandaag en ik het Man, I spoke with my in and you can see it by thank you. It looks like there's a lekker span uh, uh, span here, so. Yeah, the man is lief for my car, it's not the game, it's now not the game, it's by Sam, a cell in it, and I'm going to go to the house, and I'm going to go to the house, and I'm going to go to the house, and I'm Nou, luister ons het vir jou uh, van Tata af een duizend rand en dan gaan jylle president Roger Hendricks vraag om vir jou daar check te bring. Um, hier soos vir jou duizend rand vir die uh, lekker game wat jy vandag gespeel het. Roger, you must be thrilled uh, with the kind of uh, players you got in the team. Very, very thrilled and uh, excited. Uh, we've uh, trained very, very hard um, and we've put a lot of effort in. Um, we've been in this league for a few seasons yeah. and we hope that uh, next year we'll be in 1A. Well, all we need to do now is get the councillor out there to come and fix these lights behind the stadium. Yeah, no, I must say that the councillor has been very, very helpful. Um, they are busy with quite a number of things on the field. And hopefully next time you hear it, it all be fixed up and, you know, all the lights will work. Well, I'm looking forward to that because we saw some fantastic rugby today. Belleville, Belleville giving NNK a bit of a hiding. But it was a great game of rugby and the fans were, of course, out here today and it was fantastic rugby. We'll see you guys at nine. Bye. Oh, that was great. Um, uh, my only disappointment was that there were some lights at the top of the uh, at the top of the stadium that could have been changed. Uh, if we could have just had that fixed, it would, everything else would have been perfect. But it was a great game, great team spirit between NNK and Belleville, and uh, excellent uh, hospitality from the folks at um, Belleville. Who, of course, as usual, invited the crowd back into the morgues. You're f do you do that as well after your games? You guys go and uh, and and have a little chat afterwards. But I mean, you being a player, you don't go into that. that yeah. was, was that your first time that you'd been to a, a post-match function like that? Yeah, James, I think it is. I mean, obviously, you know, we there's different kinds of post-match functions. But I mean, yes, uh, what amazed me the most was, I mean, the reception that the captain and the man of the match got when they walked to the field. I think they got carried off the field <laughs> more than anything else. So, obviously, Balbal doing something, something right in terms of, you know, sort of the rugby guys sort of leading the way and yeah. in the community and setting the example. And so, I mean, yeah, I mean, both of them, Lawyer as well as Osman, they showed... Well, you know what sort of um, what rugby can do for the community, and I think it's it's, it's ripe and it's healthy, obviously down in Bubble. Yeah, well, I think um, Philip Hopley is also making some great uh, 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 um, influence there at the NNK side. The the spirit between the two teams afterwards was absolutely great. It was a loss. They congratulated each other. They said, "We'll see you later in the se in the season. Best of luck. Bye bye." And it was just as simple as that. It was short and sweet. Let's look at the results now in Premier League. A eh? Some interesting results uh, there. Cryfontaine beating St. George's. Alsace going down to Paul Hamlets, 32-15 over Lunga. Rangers uh, losing to UWC and Stelco, 23-26 uh, loss for them um, against Macassar. Macassar doing really well at the moment. In Premier League B, uh, we see Franschuk with a win over Strand United. Milneton uh, losing to Fundestel. Laguna, 13-31 loss for them over Sol against Solaria. And Silvertree losing to Eerste River. In Division 1, Borland Mark uh, losing to Silverleaf. Young Wesley is going down to Manenberg Rangers. Young Stars losing 38-5 to Rocklands and Strand, uh, beating Hamadias 30 points to 20. While in Division 2, Kyle Moore beat Blue Stars 18-14. It was a win for All Saints and a win for Atlantis. In Division 3, we see um, Strand Pioneers... Well, they lost to Young Ideas over the weekend. Of course, Young Ideas will be on TV next week, Wednesday. We'll be covering Young Ideas against uh, Whistling Wheels at Whistling Wheels home ground. Klutzville drew with Peninsula. Masi Pumulele, a good win for them against Perseverance. And as I said, Whistling Wheels, while it was a two-point win for them against Caledonian Roses, tight as it can be. In Division 4, it was a win, a draw at least, for Richmond Rangers against Thistle. Bishop Lavers with a two-point win over Imikawi. City in progress, 25-24 over Delft. While in the Paul region, it was a win for Windmill United. Allen Dale Riverstones 
uh, a lower poll and Young Standards uh, beating Young Gardens 26 points to 6. Um, Mr. H, let's focus quickly on this uh, Division 3 at the moment where we're going against uh, to, to watch uh, Muslim Wheels this weekend take on um, Young Ideas, of course, playing in Easter of Year. So um, if we look at Whistling Wheels, they are currently sitting second. at second place on the log, wow. which, is, which is a good place for them to be. Yep. Um, young Ideas are a little bit lower down. So Young Ideas are, of course, going to have to... They're, they're going to be thinking at this stage already, we've got to give it guns blazing. But it's yeah. an away game for them. Yeah, it will be difficult for them, for Young Ideas. But uh, Max Macapella, who's the leader of Young ideas. ideas, yes, Max and Rowena used to be there as yeah, well. Yeah, huh? he's a wily old fox. And Why? He, will, <laughs> <laughs> he will probably come up with something to surprise uh, yes, uh, Whistling Wheels. You know. M uh, playing out Google Letter, right? Uh, young Ideas. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Google Letter. Yeah. Uh, no, no, sorry, Langa. Sorry, Langa. Langa, Langa yeah. So we've been, we went out there to Max, Mark, uh, Max uh, of course, last year for the handover of that. Uh, there was a, the Steve Trader tournament preparation. Yeah, yeah. And we were out there last week, Cape Rugby TV supporting the Steve Twete tournament that was there and Max Macapella doing such a great job. Of course, uh, Director Tutu was there on the night as well yeah. from the Sport and Recreation Department. So a lot of good stuff happening out there. Time now for our Evox competition, folks. If you want to win yourself an Evox hamper, start getting your cell phones ready. The number to SMS is 33280. 33280. Up for grabs tonight. An Evox... Uh, creatine that's what you want to do an evox 200 gram creatine that is up for grabs for you uh, we, as you know this rugby pack probably by now there is the mega grow one kilogram of protein that's what you need to get through the season as we were talking about earlier on and of course the recovery this gets you to get you from game to game you want to win this evox rapid recovery leaning tower of pisa to get you through the season all you need to do is tell us who is the official sports nutrition supplier to the DHL Stormers and Western Province Rugby. SMS the word EVOX to 33280 and you could win yourself this hamper. It's time for us to take an ad break. And when we come back, we'll of course be taking a look at uh, what is happening in the rest of the world of club rugby. Of course, last week we did have a winner for the EVOX hamper. Last week's winner was Shawnee Isaacs. Congratulations, Shawnee. You win yourself this EVOX hammer. Uh, at least um, hamper. Maybe I'll be watching Thor too much. Too much Evox turns you into Thor. Uh, so you won't be winning this hammer, but you'll be winning this hamper. Um, tell us again, who is the official sports nutrition supplier to Western Province Rugby and the DHL Stormers? SMS your name and answer to 33280. When we come back, we'll take a look at some of your fan picks of the week. Back in a sec. We've got some fantastic fan picks uh, sent in on Facebook. Of course, you can reach us right now on www.facebook.com forward slash Cape Rugby TV. If you're not on Facebook and you're out there on Twitter and you want to reach us on Twitter, it's as simple as following us on at Cape Rugby TV. And don't forget, over the weekends, uh, if you hashtag hash WP Club Rugby, then you can, of course, follow the scores, results, and information of all of the clubs playing in Western Province Rugby and all of the fans and administrators that are tweeting and it's great to see that back channel in action on a Saturday. It's now at that stage where we can all stand around the side of the field and we all know all the scores from all of the games. It is absolutely amazing. That communication initiative has paid off at Western Province Rugby. Of course, part of the new communication strategy being rolled out at Western Province Rugby is the social media side of things. And that Twitter back channel, it's literally like watching TV on your phone on the side of the field and you know what's happening with all of the other uh, games. Of course, then the other stream that's been working nicely is our Cape Rugby TV fan page and the Western Province Club Rugby fan page. And we're getting some great fan picks in from you out there. And, of course, that leads to more exposure for more clubs. And, of course, those of you that are out there participating are being so helpful. So thank you very much to you. Of course, many of you have been taking part in the social media and media seminars that we've been having at Newlands. A reminder to all of those of you that are at the fields, the next social media seminar is this coming week. On Monday at Newlands, 6.30 for 7. If you're one of the media reps or are interested in media and social media and are a club rugby fan at your club, come and join us at Newlands. It's free. And, uh, of course, on Monday we'll have some snacks as well. Not to bribe you, but we'll have some snacks. Let's take a look now at the fan picks that came in over the week. <laughs> That's a great big year coming in from Claude Fisher. Of course, we know Claude from Tigerberg. Tigerberg taking Hamilton. Um, another beautiful picture there coming in from Anson Apro. Anselin in that match. Elsie's against Paul, and the jumper there is Mornay Fanil. 
Looks like our photographic timing is getting better and better and better. I'm sure these pictures can one day be entered into some fantastic photographic competitions. We'll have that at the end of the year. Um, Mr. H. Is that the moon or is it the ball? No, that's the ball. Oh, okay. That's the ball. Unless the, <laughs> unless the player is planning on catching the moon. Um, but there again at, 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 at uh, Elsie's, you never know. You've got more chance there of catching a... A scarp. <laughs> <laughs> and let's take a look now at the uh, next picture also uh, coming in there from Ansel and Paul. This was in the second team. This was their second team match. Uh, Paul's number eight in the second team match. Elsie's against Paul. And then uh, our final picture, Claude Fisher sending in another uh, wide shot there of the match. Tigerberg against Hamilton. Uh, looks like that was a beautiful day for rugby. Look how nice that field looks. Thanks, Claude. Of course, that picture featured JB Funster. We know him. Well, he's been on the show a few times. Le JB is the jumper there. Lee Clark, Milton Fredericks, and Ashik Wise. There's a name we know in club rugby. It's time now, folks, for us to go to our Vodacom I Love Western Province Club Rugby campaign. This is where you, the club, can get into the mix to win some great prizes for your club. All right? The kind of products and prizes that you need at your club. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Where's some problems? I love uh, club rugby campaign and how it's working this season. Folks, this year it's very easy for you to win benefits for your club. All you need to do is earn some points by doing some various basic information. And uh, all you need to do is level point one is 500 points. Level point two is 1,000 points. It's 2,000 points is level three. 4,000 points is level four. If you get to 500 points, you can win yourself 50 water bottles for your club. 1,000 points, and you can win 25 branded kit bags, courtesy of Vodacom, also for your club. 2,000 points gets you 25 club-specific branded rain jackets. That means that your club and management team will be around the side of the field in their club's raincoats. Of course, it gets cold and wet out there. And, of course, the grand prize is a brand-new set of jerseys, match jerseys, for your club. Right, so all you need to do is uh, get into the point system for your club. Now, you as the individual fan, club administrator, club player, whoever at your club, all you need to do to earn those points and win those prizes, of course, I'll remind you of those prizes again. They're the water bottles, the kit bags, the jackets, and the raincoats. All you need to do as, is as you see on your screen right now, and you might as well start writing this number down. The number is 32175. Now, there's different ways for you to earn your points. You can upload pictures or videos of your club onto the I Love Western Province Club Rugby.co.za website. I'm going to spell it for you. I Love WP Club Rugby.co.za website. Upload a picture there, and that will get you two points. SMS the name of your club to 32175. That registers you as a supporter. That gets you five points. You can also MMS or video your clips up to uh, the number on your screen, 082008100196. That gets you another five points. If you register for M-Pesa, that gets you 15 points. And if you switch, that's, of course, if you switch from another network across to the Vodacom network, that'll get you 20 points. So all you need to do is go and visit the following sites, all right? Go to ilovewpclubrugby.co.za to find out more information. Or go to the Facebook site, www.facebook.com forward slash I love WP Club Rugby, or you can even follow them on Twitter. We are on Twitter right now together with I love WP Club Rugby, www.twitter.com forward slash I love WP Club Rugby. All right, that's what you need to do. So, folks, all you need to do to get your, your team on, into the mix is um, get into the habit of supporting your club. Right. Well, we still have a competition that we have uh, in the mix there. If you want to um, send some SMSs through and you could win yourself here, courtesy of Vodacom, a chance to uh, go and watch the Stormers take on the Lions at Newlands on the 30th of June. Just SMS the word Club Rugby and your name to 32175. 32175. It is as easy as that. You can put yourself in the mix to win a set of store, uh, tickets to go watch with you and three friends the Stormers take on the Lions at Newlands on the 30th of June. Right, folks, let me remind you once again, all you need to do is when you get to the side of the field, 
is you can just, to get those points, to win those prizes, the water bottles, the raincoats. Remember, this is for your club. This is for your players and your team management. It's very important that you get that. A lot of clubs, Mr. H, a lot of clubs don't have sponsorship, so they need jackets. They need jerseys. It's an easy way to get Easy way to get it yeah. is get into the I Love WP Club Rugby campaign. If each member in the of each team, yeah. you know, you've got about 100 members in the club. Just as players. If, yeah, if they go to their families and everybody, they will quickly have all they'll the They'll quickly points. have jerseys, they'll quickly have water bottles, they'll quickly have raincoats, and of course this is important for the team. Somebody must drive it. Somebody all. must drive it. Of course, every club must have a club champion and you, the fan, can get behind it. Once again, two points. If you upload your video clips to the I Love WP Club Rugby website, five points if you SMS the name of your... That's all you need to do. SMS the name of your club to 32175. That gets you five points. MMS your picture or video clips up to 0820080196. Remember that you can find out more about this on the I Love WP Club Rugby.co.za website. It also explains this entire process. Register for Mpesa, that gets you 15 points as an individual. And these points all add up. And next week, we'll take a look at the rankings and see which clubs are on top, which clubs are at the bottom, and who has managed to get close to it. Of course, last year, one of the clubs that did the absolute best was Gerald Brock and the guys who won the bus tour, went out to Stellenbosch Coronations, had hundreds of fans out there. They enlisted a local radio station to help them support it, and they got the fans behind the campaign. Well done to Gerald and the guys last year. You're a prime example of what it means to get behind the community to win the kind of prizes that supports your club. That's your I Love WP Club Rugby campaign. Follow them on Twitter as well at, at I Love WP Club Rugby. We'll take a look next week, and we'll see what it is that you've been up to. Have you been SMSing, tweeting, or MMSing even? I Love WP Club Rugby. We'll be back with you in a sec. Mr. H, a couple of interesting things happened over the week. Uh, a couple of interesting announcements that were made. Uh, one, of the, one of the announcements that was made, uh, well, it became public knowledge uh, last week already. Obviously, someone let the cat out of the bag. And then at the council meeting, it was announced um, the CEO of Western Province Rugby, Mr. Tien Zwitman, is uh, uh, hanging up his boots, so to speak, this year. <laughs> yeah, after 33 years. 33 years of service to Western Province Rugby. Yeah. A long time. Well, Tien where you, of course, uh, will be looking fondly to look back on your history at Western Province Rugby. That was one of the announcements that was made. And, uh, of course, uh, you've got a new chairman, Sam Dube. Yeah, Mr. Dube has been appointed chairman of the board. Right. In place of Mr. Vic Christian, who had to retire because of his age. Right, right. You don't have to retire because of your age, do you? Soon. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Uh, you don't have to retire off this TV show because of your age, yeah, okay? Okay, thank All right. you. I will put up with you for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what is the story with the young players' selection? It seems like there's a new regulation. In the future, the selectors will only look at players younger than 25 when they sit down to select the Western Promise Dyser team as well as the Western Promise Amateur team. Um, yeah. is, is that one of, the, one of the sort of the guidelines now that you're yes. trying to bring in younger, give younger players an opportunity? And also with the amateur team, we decided to only select two players per club, a maximum of two players from a club to give more players the opportunity. Otherwise, the selectors, you know, they might just concentrate on the top club. Yeah. Jerome, are you happy with that? You need yeah. more, more players from more clubs, more clubs to come to the party? Yeah, that's that's what we that's what we've done that's what we've done last year also, but um, um, unfortunately last year um, SK Warmers went to the club champs and Marty's went to the club champs, so then you sort of have to take more of a, a certain team. So we had more of Hamilton's players, but hopefully this year it won't be a won't be a problem because uh, I know whoever we can see if it's Durbanville or Marty's going to the club champs. But we've got enough players, so we're happy with that. Give everybody a chance to play. Why can't we send a club from the Super League B or Premier League A or Division 4 to the club champs? Am I asking a stupid question? Hmm. We might as well. I'm asking, Mr. H says yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. H says yes, I'm asking a stupid question. Why? The, the Super League A is the top club, the top section. 
and the winner of the first round. But the second club that goes in, you, you send your winning club and you send a development club, right? Not necessary. That is, depends on SA Rugby if they are going to invite a development club. That's like saying you're not going to select Sia Khaleesi for the Springbok team. Oh, I would... I don't want Wouldn't to. it be fantastic to see Whistling Wheels play at the South African club champs? <laughs> we've, had, we've, had, we've had other unions that send people here. Yeah. And then they get an 100 no, uh, 90 no. But they got on TV and they got to experience the club champs. Yeah, but you, know, you don't want to be on TV if, you're, if they call the game off because you are 100 Talking no about there. calling the game off, that's something else that was mentioned. A couple of games have been called off this season. Yeah. Um, Spencer oh. King mentioned that there were some announcements made um, and th that this would be dealt with in the strictest manner. If you mm. walk off the field, what are the consequences? Well, Should you walk off the field? If you walk off the field, it means that you take the law into your own hands, no matter what happens right. on the field. And then the penalty there is anything up to 5,000 rand or expulsion from the union. Right, right. Uh, so, yeah, that's, you don't do that. Right. Let's take a look now at Mesa. Mesa is, of course, one of our official suppliers to uh, Cape Town TV and the Cape, Tar Cape Rugby TV show. Mesa, last week, gave away an Express Slate tablet PC. you remember that. Almost like an iPad, but a Mesa Express Slate uh, TV, uh, or at least tablet PC. Last week's winner was Kim Janssen. Congratulations, Kim. You win for yourself an Express Slate tablet PC. That is on its way to you. You'll get a phone call from someone tomorrow. I'm sure you're very excited to hear that. Congratulations to Kim Janssen. Now, folks, one of the big ones this week. Right. Come to me, baby. Come to me. You want to see the panel behind me? Right? Those of you that have been watching behind me, this is the Mesa TV screen. It is a 42-inch plasma TV screen with the Evox logo on it. Oh, in all its glory and might behind me, and I tell you people out there, all right, I'm not going to preach to you. My can feel a prayer because I'm there. 42 inch full HD LCD plasma screen, courtesy of uh, Mesa. All you need to do is uh, tell us who is the official IT supplier to the DHL Stormers. SMS to answer and your name. The double three two eight zero. 42 inch full HD LCD TV plasma screen. This is what you want in your lounge because it means you'll have so much more space in your lounge. I'm going to sit on your stool to sit on my TV to cram me. All right, and it mark work for my buy a beer like on TV as you have a 16 by 9 TV cake. Um, Mr. H, you, you do look a lot bigger on that TV than you do on... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, you look double the size that, that, uh, that you do on, on that thing there. Thanks, um, <laughs> yes. So 42 inch plasma, 42 inch full HD uh, TV plasma screen there of uh, LCD screen, folks. Courtesy of Mesa, double three two eight. Why don't you uh, send an SMS in right now, and you could win yourself that 42 inch plasma screen. The number again, double three two eight zero. It's as easy as that. Okay, you want to win that big screen for your house. We'll be back in a moment. We'll take an ad break, and when we come back, we'll uh, of course catch up with Leisure Hotels, and we'll also look at the fixtures coming up this week. Back in a sec. <laughs> uh, we're getting some great comments here on Facebook. Yeah, I can't believe it. We had guys saying, yeah, please expand the club rugby show, or at least the show, into Esviet Deer. Okay, that was one coming in from Daxkroof Haseka. Okay, Daxkroof. <laughs> Daxkroof, uh, I will work on it. I'll get the show to Esviet Deer. That's the southwestern districts as hard as I can. Um, uh, Carla Nortke asked the question, do your points carry over from last year? Carla will find out. Alternatively, um, if you tweet the guys on um, I Love WP Club Rugby, they'll be able to get back to you quite soon. Um, and then there was a post from uh, David Moses saying, JP, can't we have a moo wish of the week where clubs send pics of the funniest thing that happened? I love that suggestion. It's called a moo wish. Is that right, um, David? Uh, let us know if I got that one correct. Moo wish, the funniest pics of the week. Why not? I think I should have done a prank call, uh, or at least a prank video on Quiz when I was at the, the Belleville. Leisure Hotel is, of course, one of our keen suppliers. Let's uh, give you a chance now to win yourself a nice accommodation, bed and breakfast at the Strand Towers. Last week's winner was Sylvia Volskut. Uh, congratulations, Sylvia. Win, you win for yourself a uh, nice accommodation, bed and breakfast at the Strand Towers. Sylvia, all you did was SMS the name Leisure. And your name to 33280. 33280. It's a Mr. Wet Leisure, and you could be in the mix. Sylvia, you'll be getting your phone call soon. 
Look at the club rugby fixtures now coming up this weekend. It's Durbel up against um, Villagers. False Bay, they take on SK Warmers and Hamiltons are up against Belha. In Super League B, it's Hands and Arts Collegians, Helderberg, Belleville, Kales River, Brackenfell, NNK take on Goodwood, Primrose and um, Peniel Villagers. Uh, gentlemen, Ms. H, if you pick out of there, the Super League A, Durbel Villagers, False Bay, SK, Hamiltons, Belha, which one would you go for? Big games? Well, False Bay, SK Warmers. False Bay, SK Warmers, that one? Jerome, yeah. big one? Yeah, that's definitely a big one for the weekend. Um, if we look at Super League B, Morgs, which one would you pick? Um, yeah, Cows uh, River, Brackenfell. Yeah, I mean, look, I would have gone for probably Primrose, Peniel Villages. Are they Primrose, I know that um, obviously um, Helderberg and Belleville is obviously going to be a big one because the top of the table clash. Mm. But Primrose, uh, after the last week, I don't think we're going to be too happy. I had a word with Herman or Simla and he reckons the boys are going to bounce back hard. So. Herman Masimla is, of course, the coach of Primrose. Yes, that's right. So. Yeah. Had it with him and the boys are going to bounce back hard. So two good games in the in the Super League um, Super League B. Helderberg and uh, at least Kelsrever and Brackenfell sent some uh, uh, information for the TV show uh, to us to promote that. So folks, uh, thanks for that. And one of the things that you will le learn at the social media seminar is how to send us contributions, fan picks, information about your games, etc., to the Cape Rugby TV show so that we can get it up. Uh, that this weekend, folks, we are at Whistling Wheels against Young Ideas. Remember, of course, Colortone is one of our supporters here on Colortone. Uh, is the White Line Fever competition that you can win, and you can win yourself a Colortone uh, hamper of choice. All you need to do is SMS the word Colortone to double three two eight zero with your club's name, and your club can win the White Line markers. Let's take a look at last week's winner. Last week's winner was, of course, Richmond Rangers. Congratulations, Richmond Rangers. You win for yourself um, that white line fever hamper. Remember, color tone paints are available at a hardware store near, your, near you. You need to get your white lines marked properly. Otherwise, my cameraman, Andrew, will not know where the try line is. Okay, so it's very important that when we bring the camera, we need to know where the try lines are, all right? In fact, you get so much white line paint, you can even write the word try line on it. It makes it easy for Andrew to understand which is the try line and which is the dead ball line <laughs> when he, because sometimes uh, he gets over there. Um, uh, Mr. H, uh, Whistling Wills and uh, Young Ideas this week might be exciting. Yeah, Young Ideas actually is second on the log, not? So, second on the log. Yeah, so, and uh, Whistling Wheels about fifth. So yeah. it will be quite a uh, nice competition. Jerome, what do you make of Esther Fisa Felt? It's quite a nice field, JP. I think they must just also fix, fix their lights. I was out there in February and they had one sort of spotlight with the generator there which they use. Please, yeah. So I... I no lights there. There's no, there's no, no lights. lights. In, 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 in one thing about that, that club, JP, they were, at that night there were about 60 players. That was like sort of a pre-season, yeah. which is good. So there's a lot of rugby players out there in East River. And... Um, Good club also. They've got great facilities. They've got a great clubhouse and uh, quite a new sort mm. of sport field which yeah. they've got there. So I think the only thing that they need there is, uh, is, is, is the lights and with the amount of players they have. Um, and I think also, JP, there's a bit of pressure on, on, on whistling wheels. Wherever Cape Town TV goes, the home side wins. So it's a bit of pressure on them. Mox, what did you make of your experience with, it, with, with going down to a, to a club game and there's TV here? <laughs> TV at the field. Do you, do you notice a difference in the fans or the players? Yeah, so I think they're definitely, uh, the celebrations <laughs> are a little bit more, uh, I think they checked from Gio and Joan, I think in the box jerseys and the celebrations are a little more uh, sort of extravagant. So looking forward to what the whistling, whistling wheels have to offer us uh, this week. Well, it's going to be great. Morgs, Jerome, Mr. H, looking forward to another, another Lekka Rugby weekend. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you guys again uh, next week, uh, Wednesday at 9. Thank you. Thanks, Chaps. We'll there we go, folks. Cape Rugby TV, Wednesdays live at 9. Don't forget that uh, media seminar at Newlands on uh, Monday, 6.30 for 7. They'll also launch the I Love WP Club Rugby campaign courtesy of Vodacom. You need to get out there, and that's how you find out how you can get your club on TV to promote your game on the weekends. Have a fantastic rugby weekend. Stay warm. Hope for good selections. And I hope to see more players of development get into national teams. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.